Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest and easy to follow Android home screen tutorials. Today's video tutorial is for a home screen called Dark Glow by Chromium. Here it is. Boom, just like that. Was that Nexus 4? Well, yes it is. Here's my new phone, a Nexus 4. Do not worry though, my Galaxy S2 fans, I'll still be keeping my S2 for a while. So, let us begin with today's tutorial and see what this home screen is all about. So one thing that stands out straight away when you see this home screen is its glowing icons on its grey background. As you can see this follows through if we go into our weather page over here, just by tapping the weather page, it, you can see the glowing weather icon looks really really cool. So as you can see, no swiping, you can't swipe across, you can only jump through using these three. As you can see we've got our home, weather and our RSS reader like this. So you might be thinking, well how did this jump so fast like that and how come it's no swipe? Well, that is because we're using the launcher called SS Launcher. Now, I know a lot of you people might be frightened of this launcher, but do not worry. We decided to give you some more SS Launcher tutorials just to show you this amazing launcher. And as you can see, using UCCW widgets, it's all hotspots enabled. So tapping that will open up your clock and tapping the weather icon brings up your weather app of your choice. So if you like what you see, let us begin with today's tutorial. Alrighty, starting from our stock SS launcher, as you can see things are going to be a little bit different in this tutorial. First we're going to hold down and get rid of all of these widgets. Great, once that's done you want to go into your options or your, your preferences menu. So for me I just go into my menu here and you want to go into your preferences there. Next you want to select full screen, don't need to scroll the wallpaper. You want to scroll down to disable swiping. Now I'd recommend leaving this off now for your, edit, for your page editing and setting it up. But once you've got everything set up, you can re-enable this. And that's our preferences complete. Next we'll go back, go back into our options again, or menu, and then you want to go into theme. From here you want to go into animation, and you want to get your speed, you want to get it to as close to zero as possible. So pretty much, I think it's 100. So what does that mean? As you can see, look at that swiping speed at the bottom. If you're looking for instant screen jumping, this is the launcher to go for. When you select type, you want it to go into fading, and that's pretty much it. You want to go apply changes now, Go options, theme again. Next you want to go into label. You go all the way down and you want to hide the label. And then say apply changes. What that just does is get rid of the top, that home applications, hots, etc. Just gets rid of that. Next we'll go back. And there we have our clean screen. So next we're going to be adding in extra screens. So we're going to hold down. Go to our options here. And next, as you can see, these are all our pages that we currently have. So we, we want to have three home type pages that look like that, that is completely blank and have nothing on them. So if you see at the bottom here, we have new page. So you want to add one, call it, let's call it weather. Just make things interesting, go okay. There we have weather and create a new one called, just call it RSS, just like that, go okay. Remember they must be cover pages. So if you hold this one down now, you can now drag it. You want to drag it just to beneath home. So you should have home, weather, RSS, inner line, like that. Next, we're gonna be configuring the wallpapers for each one of these. Now with SS Launcher, wallpapers work a little bit differently. It basically has a built-in multi-picture live wallpaper, which is pretty cool. So for home, we wanna select that little wallpaper looking one there. As you can see, we have no images at the moment, so we wanna go add an image. And I just set it as my file explorer to look for them. You wanna go into where you've saved them. So, you want to go into your wallpapers and I just use the bigger one like this and you want to go DG home for the obviously for the home page so now it selects it appears now you've added an image so now you want to select that image to be used for that wallpaper we'll do it again for weather selecting that little image you go add an image and you want to select weather like that select it again and there we have our weather finally we'll do it to RSS and you'll select the reader and then we have all three set up. See now what's cool about that, if you make a mistake or if you want to change another one, you can easily just select another image. So once that's done, if we just minimize it now, as you can see they've all been set up. So next we want to hold down, select wallpaper. Now this wallpaper is basically the background wallpaper for each of these. These are the screen wallpapers that you've just set. 
but this one is for the complete background image. We'll just go into our gallery here, find the folder where you've saved it, and you just want to find the one that's completely blank, like this. Go OK. Setting wallpaper, there it is. So now when you jump to each one of them, boom, it will have the nice, cool gray background as well as for the app draw. Great, next we're gonna be moving on to the icons or basically the screen jumpers that'll be enable you to jump from screen to screen to screen and the app draw. Let's do that. Okay, so for these icons, you wanna hold down on the home screen, you wanna select new shortcut. This is really cool about SS Launcher. This guy really does it well. So once we're in here, we're gonna go into look, we wanna go into style first and you wanna select the icon that has no background, this one over here. And we wanna go into icon. I will select icon here and we want to go add an image. Remember how this goes, just select the icon that will just go into the folder where you found the icons. So there's the home one, just go select the image now. And you just want to scroll to the bottom and say apply settings. Remember apply settings. Okay, once our style has been set up, we want to go into our type and you want to select page. Now that's because you want to jump from page to page using these icons. So we want to go into our target now and you want to select for the home one because it's the home icon you want to select the home page go OK just check that everything's in order it's just got a little icon at the bottom there and you want to say apply settings so everything's done that should make a little box appear like that now this is probably one of the coolest things about SS Launcher is that look as you can see if you hold down on the icon like this and you just select it again you can resize this icon pretty much with infinite sizing proportions. You can make it bigger, smaller, and then if you hold it down again and just select this little joystick over here, you can do some fine tweaking. There, you can get it exactly into the center of this button. So if you always get annoyed with not having the right size icons or you can't get them into the right place, then this is the launcher for you. So what you want to basically do now is do that for each one of the four here. You want to hold down, select new shortcuts and then do it for the weather, the RSS and then finally your app draw. So once you have all your icons set up like this in the right size as well as in the right alignment, you want to do it for the weather as well as for the RSS. But now what's another little handy feature, what SS Launcher can do, if you hold down say on the home icon and you say copy and then you scroll to your your weather page and you hold down and say paste boom there it is it just takes some um, realigning again but there you have it you can just scroll now to RSS hold down on it select paste and there we have it so you want to do that now for the rest of the three don't worry it goes pretty quick so let's do it so there we have all of our icons set up. You can just double check that they all work just by tapping like that. Even our app draw goes to our app draw, pretty cool. Great, and there we have our icons set up. Really easy and simple there. So next we're gonna be moving on to our UCCW widgets. Okay, for our UCCW widgets, they work the same as always. You just wanna hold down on the home screen, select new widget, go and choose a size for your UCCW skin. Let's say for the clock, a four by three work well. But what I've done here is created my own ones. You can obviously just create your own, but I've just made these. Let's go for the clock one, select it. And as you can see, you wanna tap away first and then select the hand. Now, because SS Launch is so badass, you aren't stuck to knowing what size you need for your SS Launcher, as you can see. Look at that, I can just resize it the way that I want. Makes it really cool. Obviously, you wanna tweak it a bit Say if you want to move it across a little, you can do that. But that's pretty much it. There we have our clock. We want to be moving on to our date now. So you want to do the exact same thing. Maybe choose a 4 by one size for now. And let's go with the date. So as you can see, look, I can just move it wherever I want. But after some quick tweaking, we have it perfectly aligned. Something to note about this calendar here is that making it for a smaller screen won't look too good. So there's an alternate wallpaper for that but it works very well for the larger screens. If we move on to our weather page here, we're gonna be importing our weather skins. So I just chose a four by four for the, for the little icon here. As you can see, I just, just move it wherever you want, basically. And then I went for five by, five by two for the, for the weather notification underneath that. 
So as you can see, this doesn't look right at all, but with SS Launcher, you can just resize it. Sweet, and there we have it. One thing I want to add with this, as you can see, that's my location, but sometimes your location is quite long or it picks up a different location and you don't really want that, do you? So what I did here, if you go select object, I created a static text for your location. If we see, if we swipe across and we select text, that is my location right there. So if you're wondering why you import the skin and it says Pretoria, that is because you need to change the static text to your location. If you always want, you can always just add in location here, but sometimes it makes it quite long or it's short. Yeah, pretty much it's just easier to put in your own static text. Great, and once that's set up, we have just our RSS to do. Went for a 4 hour one there. And as you can see, you want to try and align it so that it takes, fits with the width. See those two green lines? You want it to align like that. Boom, there we have it. And now, finally, we want to add in our RSS reader here, which if you hold down and select new widget, we want it to be minimal reader pro. You can also use the free version, but I like the, the paid one because, well, it's got scrolling and everybody wants some scrolling. So if your widget looks like this, do not worry though, you've probably just made the icons hidden and you just want to get into your options now with the three little dots at the top. So you want to select or import your feeds. Next you want to go into the middle menu here and you want to take off thumbnails on widget. You want to go next here and you want to go widget header. You want that to be transparent. Widget background, transparent. Text size, medium. News color title, doesn't really matter here. You can make it a blue, gray, white. Doesn't really matter. News content color. You want it to be blue or gray, doesn't really matter at all. And as well as the color, the blog date color, you can make it whatever you want. I just went for gray. Finally, you just, you just want to hide your buttons and your counter and then you want to select update widget and it should appear like this. And being good old SS launcher, you can just pretty much, who needs grid sizes when you got SS launcher? There we go. We can pretty raise it up a bit if we want. If it gets in the way of your UCCW, you can always just hold down and say to back and I'll send it to the back. This will enable you just to resize the RSS so it gets it a bit more in proportion. Great, and then we have our RSS feed set up like this. Obviously, if you have the free one, it won't be scrolling, but it still looks very cool. And just checking, we can just go back to our weather and back to our home. Go to our applications right here. And as always, you can just go back into your preferences and disable swiping. So you can't, you don't have to do that. But as you can see, this is the launcher if you want instant jumping screens. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as well as our Facebook, Twitter and now Google Plus communities. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing.